video is on percent composition. So percent composition, it tells the percent of each element in a compound, and it tells how much of each element is in a compound. Now percents is just like percents with everything else. The percent of anything is the part over a whole times 100. In the case when we're talking about percent composition of elements, our part is going to be the mass of the element we're looking for, and the whole is going to be the total mass of the compound. Now the masses that we're going to use come from our periodic table. So on the periodic table in the element square that you have, you have the element symbol in the middle, the atomic number on the top, and you have the average mass number at the bottom. That average mass number at the bottom is the mass that you're going to use for every one of our elements. So let's walk through an example. Example number one asks you to find the percent composition of C2H6. Now when it asks you for percent composition, you need to find the percent composition of all the elements given to you. So I will find the percent composition of, of carbon and of hydrogen. So my first step is to figure out what equation I'm going to use. Well, it's a percent question, so I use my percent equation of part over whole times 100. And I first need to determine what the whole is, my whole value. Well, my whole is the total mass of my compound. The total mass of C2H6 is where I'm going to determine my mass of my carbon. So here I have two carbons, two carbon atoms. Each carbon atom has a mass of 12.01 grams, and I have two of them, so I multiply my mass times the number of atoms I have, which gives me 24.02. And then for my hydrogen, I have six hydrogens here. My mass of every hydrogen atom is 1.01. .01. So I have 1.01 times 6 gives me 6.06 .06 grams. Then I add the two of them together to get my total for my whole piece, and I get 30.08 grams. This is my mass of my compound, which goes into my whole for both my percent carbon and my whole for percent hydrogen. So moving on to find percent carbon. Well, my percent carbon is my part divided by whole times 100, my part in this case being the amount of carbon I have in this compound. Well, I have two carbon atoms, C2, so I take my 2 times my 12.01, my mass of carbon, and I get 24.02. This is my part. So plugging it into the equation, my part is my 24.02 for my carbon, divided by my whole, which I calculated here to be 30.08, multiplied by 100, gives me 78.85% carbon using the correct number of significant figures. Then I do the same thing for hydrogen. My percent hydrogen, I look by finding my part of hydrogen that I have. Well, I have six hydrogen atoms, so six hydrogen. So therefore, it's six times my mass of 1.01 .01 gives me 6.06. .06. This is my part, so 6.06 .06 divided by my whole of 30.08 times 100 gives me a percent composition of hydrogen of 20.15% hydrogen. Please make sure that you label what element you're finding the percent for. Let's walk through your second example. Your second example tells you to find the percent composition of ammonium chloride. We first need to know what is ammonium chloride. Well, ammonium is NH4, has a positive one charge, chlorine is Cl. With a negative one charge, I crisscross them, I get NH4Cl. I first need to determine my whole amount, or my mass of my whole. So I nurse by finding, I have nitrogen, hydrogen, and chlorine. My nitrogen, when I locate it on the periodic table, it has a mass of 14.01 grams. 14.01. And I have one hydrogen atom here, so that gives me 14.01 for that component. My hydrogen, I have four hydrogens. Hydrogen has a mass of 1.01, which gives me 4.04. And then my chlorine has a mass of 35.45. When I add these all together, I get 53.50 grams. Now this is my whole. Okay. 
every one of my components, I'll divide by this number to determine the percent that I have. So on to my nitrogen. Well, nitrogen, I calculated, has a mass of 14.01, and I have one nitrogen. It gives me a total mass contribution of my nitrogen of 14.01 grams. I take that 14.01 grams, and I divide it by my total mass of 53.50 grams times 100, and I get a percent composition for my nitrogen to be 26.19% nitrogen. Then I do the same thing for my hydrogen. For hydrogen, my mass of a hydrogen is 0 0.10 grams, and I have 6, gives me a total mass contribution of 6.06 .06 grams. I take this value and I divide it by my total mass of 53.50 grams times 100, give me a percent composition of hydrogen to be 7.55% hydrogen. Finally, I go for chlorine. Chlorine has a mass of 35.45 grams, and I have one chlorine. Now I take that, divide it by my whole, which is my 53 0.5 grams, multiply times 100, and I get a mass percent, or a percent composition, of 66.26% chlorine. Next, go ahead and try your next example questions, numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. The answers you should have received for your example questions are listed here.